Alternative energy projects have been scaled back in recent months, but the wind power industry is moving forward. CNNMoney.com's Poppy Harlow has our energy fix from New York. Good to see you, Poppy. Hey, Tony. Yeah, they're talking uh, wind in the windy city of Chicago, the world's largest wind power conference happening right now. And what we do know is that wind turbine installations, of course, they increased last year. A lot of focus on green energy. They were up 58 percent this year, though, due to the recession. Things are slowing down. As of the end of 2008, about 85,000 U.S. workers were employed in the wind industry. That is a 70 percent increase from 2007. And the world's biggest maker of wind turbines, it's called Vestas. It's a Dutch company. It's bringing jobs to the United States while cutting them in Europe. Pretty interesting. Take a listen to the CEO. We have actually been holding back investing in the U.S. for a number of years because of the lack of visibility on the energy policies. So uh, we have been uh, manufacturing in Europe and shipped them over to the United States. Now we really believe the United States is changing, so that's why we are investing $1 billion over here and creating the jobs over here. Interesting, Tony. A billion-dollar investment, it should add 2,500 jobs in Colorado. And he told me when I interviewed him, he said, listen, we were just waiting to invest our money in the U.S. until green energy really wow. uh, took the spotlight, which it has. Well, you know, that, that doesn't get around a major criticism of wind power, that it is simply too expensive, Poppy. It's expensive and turbines can't go everywhere. They can't yeah. go on a street corner here in New York, that's for sure. Right. The price, Tony, is getting more competitive with coal and natural gas. The wind industry, though, even that CEO, they admit it's going to make electricity bills go up for a while at least. Analysts we talk, talk, spoke with really said the technology has to improve in order to bring those yeah. costs down. It also has to be on a mass scale. But the head of GE Renewables, who we also spoke with, mm. said that really is just a matter of time. Listen to him quickly. Wind is now under 2% of this country's electricity. It clearly can play up to 20% and higher. And you'll see a tremendous amount of innovation if this country adopts a renewable energy standard. He said, though, a big roadblock is that the funding might not come soon enough. He even told me, Tony, they haven't seen a dime of that stimulus money yet. Keep in mind, the standard he mentioned, the renewable energy standard, is what Congress is considering. It's pretty high. That's getting 25% of our electricity from renewables by the year 2025, Tony. So uh, a yeah. big, big lofty goal. Yeah, it is. All right. Uh, Paul, appreciate it. Thank you. Sure.